Hi, Al Silman here with a video minute. You know, I teach workshops all over the world. My change agent training helps to encourage men and women to fulfill their calling in and through their workplace and to help them understand what it means to really manifest God's presence in the area of our calling. You know, there's one teaching that I give about the three ways that we uh, do our work. And I, I specifically target this to CEOs who own businesses. Uh, but it's applicable to whether you run a business or not. But the, the first stage is my business, my way. It's a place in our lives where we haven't given over our lives to the Lord. We, we don't know what it means to run a business based on God's principles and God's presence in our life. But then God does something and he begins to move in our life and encourages us. Sometimes it's through pain in order to create great create greater obedience in our life. And so then we move into a phase where it's my business, his way. And uh, so we are learning a little bit more about how to uh, walk with God in business. We're willing to be obedient at greater levels, but we still haven't gotten to that place where we've turned over our business life, our working life, to the Lord fully. And so then God does, does the deeper work in our lives and moves us to a third phase, which is his business, his way. And that's really the place that we all want to be. We want to get to a place of yielding our entire lives to the Lord so that he can guide us. His presence can come and the Holy Spirit can give us strategies for our business life and learn how to walk with him. You know, sometimes that's pretty difficult sometimes with all the pressures that come in our life. But that is really what he wants us to do. The scripture says in Colossians 3.23 that whatever you do, do it unto the Lord. It's the Lord Christ you are serving. You're not serving man. You're serving Christ if you're a Christian. And so our whole attitude must be an attitude where we're giving over everything we have to the Lord and asking him and giving him permission to work in our working life. So I hope that encourages you. If you've not given over your business life to the Lord, I pray you do that. Whether you uh, work for someone or you have your own business, you'll never regret that. God bless.